Hello guys, it's MatchTech here. Today I will show you the first all-in-one disk image for the RG351MP, the BOB351MP image. And I can tell you, it's a masterpiece. It's designed for a 128GB microSD card and is based on the current ArcOS test release version 2.0 for the RG351MP. The image comes with 45 pre-configured systems and an exquisite collection of 4708 games with up to hundreds of titles per system. This includes the classic Nintendo systems such as the Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, plus Game & Watch. Same goes with Sega's handhelds and consoles such as the Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, Sega Game Gear, up to Sega Dreamcast and PlayStation 1. Beside these public systems, it also comes along with Atari and Amiga consoles, Scrum Virtual Machine to emulate click and point adventures like Monkey Island or Day of the Tentacle, Open Bore, a big set of older 8-bit systems like Backtracks and ColecoVision and a special category for MS-DOS and Doom Engine based games. And for sure, it also supports a big set of arcade games. All games are beautifully set up with thumbnail pictures as well as preview videos to give you a brief impression of each game in the playlist. Despite the large selection, the device still switches through the games and systems like a charm. Thanks to the ArcOS base system, it's very performant and comes along with a big set of extra features such as online updates to keep your system up to date with bug fixes and new functions, an integrated scrape function to add box art to the ROMs that you added yourself, a theme switcher to customize the look and feel of the UI and even more that I will show you later in this video. A special category to mention are the ports. Here you'll find pre-installed games like Doom Nukem 3D, Jazz Jack Rabbit, Prince of Persia, Quake 1 and Quake 2, Shovel Knight, Streets of Rage, Super Mario 64 and many many more. If that's not enough ports for you, it comes with Portmaster pre-install, so you can even download more of them to this device and will be able to download further ports in future as they get ported and provided by Portmaster. Now let me guide you through the steps to get this great image work on your RG351 MP2 and show you some features of this image in detail. If you haven't done it yet, feel free to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you won't miss any of my further videos. Enjoy! Ok, let's start downloading the required files. I'll show you two ways to get the image file. The first way is to download it by torrent. I left you a link in the video description. It will take you right to my Google Drive where you can download the torrent file. Hit the download button up here and wait for the download to complete. As the download has finished, switch over to your download folder and double click on the torrent file to actually start the download process of the image. If you don't have this tool installed, you'll also find a link to this very lightweight torrent client I use in the video description. Since this is a big file, it will take some hours or maybe days to finish the download. So since I already have this image on my PC, I will skip the download process here. The second way to get the image is a bit unusual but a lot faster and reliable than downloading it via a torrent client. Actually, this is how I originally downloaded the files. They are available in a Telegram group. Telegram is a messenger that's mainly used on smartphones but can also be used on a PC. So you need to install Telegram to actually download the required files. Let me quickly show you how to do that. I downloaded the ported version of Telegram, created myself an account and joined the BOB351MP group. I leave you a link to the Telegram app and the group in the video description, so as you install Telegram you can join the group directly. 
After the downloads complete, you can switch over to the download folder and extract the archive. Open the extracted folder and start the Telegram Messenger. Click on the group link in the video description to join the BOB351MP group. The group provides the download links to the image as well as further updates and fixes for the image. Currently, the image is available in version 3.0. To download the image, scroll all the way up to the beginning and download all of the 58 download packages. Since this is a much faster alternative, I downloaded the image in only a few hours. As you downloaded all RK files, you can switch over to the Telegram desktop folder where you will find the archive packages. Here, double click on the first archive called BOB351MP with the ending .001 to extract it into the final image. Depending on your PC speed, this step can take several minutes or hours to complete. In the end, we have the BOB351MP.img file that we can flash to a 128GB microSD card. Now let's flash the image. I prefer using Win32 Disk Imager to write the image to an at least 128GB microSD card. So plug the card into your PC and start the application. Navigate over to the location where you extracted the image file and choose it from the file dialog. Ensure you have selected the correct write letter of your microSD card here and click on Write. Confirm the pop-up dialog with Yes and the write process will start. This step took me around 1 hour to complete, so I will fast forward it here. After the write process has finished successfully, you can quit the dialog with a click on OK, close Win32 Disk Imager and remove the SD card safely from your PC. Now that we successfully flashed the image to the microSD card, we can take it out of the SD card reader and plug it into our RG351MP. Press the power button on the right hand side for about 2 seconds to start the device. The first start may take a few seconds longer since it needs to create some initial files. But after all systems got loaded on emulation station, we are ready to play in less than 18 seconds. As this image was originally created by some Spanish guy, the theme text and the menu both show up in Spanish language. But no worries guys, we'll fix that in a moment. Actually, I took the time to translate all the Spanish text I found in the theme files for you. It took me hours to find, translate and replace all the text even though I made use of a tool to help me out with this process. In the end, I can provide you a language pack for all themes that you can just copy over the existing ones to have the description text in English. You find the link to this package in the video description and I will guide you through the install process in a minute. First, let's change the menu language. Therefore, press the start button to enter the main menu and navigate to Adjustes Avanzados. Enter this entry and choose Idoma next. Here, you can choose EN to change the language back to English. As you leave the menu by pressing the B button, the language change will be applied directly. Next, choose Quit and shut down the system to turn the device off so we can apply the translated theme files. As the device powered off, you can release the microSD card from your RG351MP and plug it back into your SD card reader to connect it with your PC. In the video description you'll find a link to the language pack. Follow that link and click on the button up here to download the file to your PC. Back in your downloads folder you should now have the themes underscore English .zip arcade. Right click on it to extract the files. As all files are extracted, you can enter the themes underscore English folder until you see the theme specific directories. Now let's open another explorer window on your desktop and navigate to the SD card drive called Easy ROMs. Here you'll find the folder structure that holds the ROM files of this image per system. So feel free to add your own ROMs here if you like to extend the collection. 
The folder we need to add the translated themes files to is called themes. You also find it here in the list. Enter that folder, mark all the translated theme files on the left hand side and copy paste them over to the right hand side on your micro SD card. Confirm the dialog to overwrite the existing files and wait for the copy process to finish. After that, you can safely remove the SD card and put it back into your device. Now this time, the image fully shows up in English language for all systems and themes. Let's take a look at the theme switcher and check out some of the pre-installed themes this image comes along with. Let me show you next how to enable Wi-Fi with this image. There's a little trick you need to know, otherwise you might miss the setup entry. Switch over to the options section. Enter the options and navigate all the way down to the last entry. From the list it seems that USB drive unmount is the last entry, but you can actually move one entry further down which is the Wi-Fi setup. You might see a small dot here that shows the selected option. Click on the A button and enter the Wi-Fi setup. Here you can use the shoulder buttons L1 and R1 to select the plus button down here and choose your Wi-Fi network. Remember, only 2.4 GHz networks can be used to connect this device. Enter your Wi-Fi password and establish the connection. Once you're connected to the internet, you can make use of online features such as online updates, the ROM scraper or port master that comes pre-installed with this image. Let's install a port together so you get an impression of the workflow how to add further ports on your own. Navigate up to tools and click on port master. Here choose the option all available ports from the list and pick a ported game to install. As an example, let's install Devolution X, a Diablo 1 port, to our device. Portmaster will download all necessary files of the port directly to your device, except the game files. You need to have the dapdat.mpq file from the original game to actually play Devolution X. After the download process has complete, you get the hint to copy this file over to your SD card. Let's do that next. So once more, plug the SD card into your PC and select the EasyROMs partition. Here you find the ports folder that will contain all your ported games. This is the place where we'll find the Devolution X folder. Copy paste the game files, in my case the dapdat.mpq file, over to that folder. Remove the SD card and put it back into your device. Back on the device, we can start Devolution X and play the full game. Games like Diablo 1 that have a native resolution of 640x480 
just look great on the RG351 MP. I'm a big fan of this title as some of you guys might know and playing it on this device is just perfect. I will explore more ports on this device and may come around with a follow up video showing you some of the best ports for the RG351 MP. If you'd be interested in a video about that just let me know in the comments below. Now if this image catched your attention go ahead and give it a try. You might be surprised how many cool titles this image comes along with. The biggest downside at the moment is that some games and parts of the menus are still in Spanish that I was not able to translate. But I hope it doesn't bother you too much. Beside that this is the first all-in-one disc image and a great collection of games and themes for this device. If you own a RG351 MP and look for a beautifully set up image this is the best choice for you. I recommend you to get a SD card from a brand like Samsung, Sandisk or Intenso so you won't get in any trouble with the capacity. I thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions feel free to put them into the comments below. As you know I do my very best to answer all of them. If you enjoyed this video let me know with a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you like to see more videos like this. Have a great day, happy gaming and see you in my next video, bye.